Finally, after 22 months, the Justice Department announces Robert Mueller has wrapped up his investigation. Charges against 37 defendants, seven guilty pleas, and one conviction at trial. The probe into the Russian election interference, possible Trump campaign collusion with Moscow, and obstruction of justice is done. The special counsel's confidential report was handed over to the attorney general earlier today. CBS News correspondent Mola Lenghi has more on what's next. The Mueller report is now in the hands of the attorney general. A senior Justice Department official tells CBS News special counsel Robert Mueller is not recommending any further indictments. Attorney General William Barr wrote a letter to the House and Senate Judiciary Committees saying the special counsel has submitted to me today a confidential report explaining the prosecution or declination decisions he has reached. Barr added he may be in a position to advise you of the special counsel's principal conclusions as soon as this weekend. That is all he's required to do. But that doesn't mean that he can't release the report in some form. The report follows a nearly two-year investigation and is described as comprehensive. Few have seen it, including White House officials and President Trump. Before leaving for Mar-a-Lago Friday, the president took aim again at the investigation. There was no collusion. There was no obstruction. Everybody knows it. It's all a big hoax. It's, I call it the witch hunt. Principal conclusions of the report are expected to be made public, but many Democrats say it needs to be released in full. It's imperative for Mr. Barr to make the full report public and provide its underlying documentation and findings to Congress. Since the investigation began, six of the president's associates have been charged with crimes, ranging from lying to the FBI to tax evasion. Barr says he'll determine what information can be released to the public after speaking with Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein and the special counsel. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, the White House. White House attorneys are with President Trump in Florida this weekend.